focusing on prosperous living because as we step into 2016, there are going to be opportunities and doors of opportunities that will be open to you and you have to recognize them and begin to walk into them. Amen. How many of you could use some, some more prosperity? Amen. Now, we, we in the church, we teach on healing, and Pastor Howard's going to teach on healing again, uh, and then we teach on, you know, everything about Jesus and renewing your mind, and we have all these different studies and teachings on faith, but we don't really teach that much on how to live prosperously and to understand it with balance and to understand it the biblical way. So we're gonna look at some things and as we begin to build line upon line, this is part four, if we begin to build line upon line, then God can, and we open up our hearts and our minds for changes, then we can be blessed. We can be channels where we can be blessed, God can bless us and where he can not only get it to us, but be able to get it through us. Because God blesses us with a purpose. There's always a purpose. So we're going to look to the word of God uh, and see where God takes us in this. John chapter 10 and verse 10. Familiar passage of scripture that we all know. And it says, The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. Jesus said, I have come that they may have life speaking to us and that they may have it more abundantly. Now Jesus didn't just want us, he didn't die on the cross for us just so that we could be saved, okay? He wanted us to have life and to have the abundant life. And having the abundant life, that means the extraordinary life, super added unto. Now, part of that abundant life is being happy. It's not being sad, it's not being broke, it's not being poor. And God identifies in this verse of scripture who is the one that comes to steal, kill, and destroy. How many of you know it's not God? Okay. And that's one of the first things that we have to renew our thinking with is that God does not take evil things that happen to you to, to test you and to try you. You know, we think sometimes God is allowing us to go through this because he has something for us to learn as we're suffering through this. No, it's not God. That's got to be a changing of a way of thinking. Uh, oh, well, the Lord took everything away from me so that he could get my attention. God doesn't do that. The devil is the one that kills, steals, and destroys. God said he came for one purpose. He gave his son Jesus for one purpose, and that's so that you may have life. The Zoe God kind of life and have it more abundantly. Enjoy it. Be Have it to the fullest. Have the extraordinary life here on earth because when you go to heaven, you won't need that. You'll just be living in the fullness of God. Amen? Amen. So abundant life means the extraordinary life, not the ordinary, not the same humdrum, but that God super adds to your life. There's so many blessings that he's already provided for Prosperous living means living life to the fullest. It also means having extraordinary relationships in your marriage, with your family, and with your friends. It means uh, living in divine health, having and enjoying wealth and riches in quantity and quality. And you know, God's not against blessing your life, and he's not against making you rich and making you wealthy. He's against greed. Yeah. Um, does somebody know that? Yeah. He's against you being greedy. But he created all of these things and he blesses you with all of these things so that you can enjoy them on this earth because one of God's purpose for your life is not only to enjoy the abundant life but to be a blessing. Yeah. Yeah. And you cannot be a blessing in someone's life or into the gospel or anything if you're on the other end of the stick. Okay, you can to some degree, but not really. But God always said in his word, he called us to be the head and not the tail, to be above only and not beneath. So he wants you to be the blessing. Yeah. Say, I wanna be the blessing. blessing. Okay, and he wants you to enjoy the quality of life that Jesus made possible for you to live here on earth. And I wanna say this. No one 
You, you know, there's a saying that says, um, you cannot teach an old dog new tricks. That's not so. Right. Because it doesn't matter how old you are when you come to know Jesus. Right. If you are willing to change yeah. your way of yeah. thinking, right. yeah. you yeah. can be blessed yeah. over and above. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. And 